Hi, my name is Diane Newman and I'm a Warsaw based illustrator. In particular, I create picture books. You can see behind me here a selection of the books that I've created so far. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to just give you an insight into my practice and just tell you a bit about how I got into publishing. Um, I'm going to show you two things. The first one is how I introduced textures into my picture books and, uh, and another short video of um, a character that I created for one of the picture books. Now, being an illustrator, you have to have um, a couple of things. Um, first of all, you've got to have the ability to draw, um, and that is just practice. Um, I usually tend to have a sketchbook just handy with me wherever I go, and just jot down anything that comes to mind. Um, I have dogs in here or people, whatever thing you're interested in, just uh, to practice. Um, the other thing you need is to acquire an agent. Um, now I've got an agent, uh, which is ba they're based in London, and they're the people that can help you to uh, guide your career once um, they've selected you uh, and act actually shape the way you're going as an illustrator. They're useful because they do all the other stuff that um, you don't really want to be involved in, so you can cre create and feel free to do that. Um, right, I got into uh, publishing in uh, around 2014 when I created my first book, which was called Pretty Poodle Parlour. Um, it was written by a lady called Angela McAllister, and it's about poodles. In fact, it's about uh, quite a few dogs, and so I had to um, do quite a lot of sketching of dogs, so researching and sketching. Now, in 2020, I had a very, very busy year, and it was very special for me because I did a picture book, and it was published, the first one, which was called Never Show a T-Rex a Book. It was written by a lovely lady called... Rashma Surdis Pandi um, and it's about a T-Rex who is shown a book and through the power of reading begins to find out that they can be anything they want. It has been said um, that it is a love letter to libraries because it encourages children to read. The other book that I had published in 2020 was this book by the very famous lady called Dame Fluella Benjamin. Um, and this book is, was pretty interesting to, to do as an illustrator because, first of all, it was a non-fiction book. It was about her life. Um, in the late 1950s, her father came over to England. Um, and then in 1960, Fluella followed him over um, with her siblings on the boat and they are part of the Windrush generation. Um, but for this book, I worked in two different ways. Um, I had to do uh, scenes of Trinidad, because that's where Florella came from. And in those scenes, it, I was able to be a bit freer in my texture uh, um, and the way I, I approached the, the drawing and the completion of that. Uh, and also, um, because it has scenes of London, because she landed in Southampton docks, but travelled on to London. So um, she'd be seeing escalators for the first time and, and the phone boxes. Um, so there's a contrast within the book that I had to capture. Talking about the processes that I used in coming to England, Within this section here, you can see where I've used a different texture to the Photoshop, the technical aspect. I've used paint here, working with watercolours um, prior to uploading this image and working into it in Photoshop. So what I'm going to show you now is how I did that. So if you've ever worked in watercolour, you know, you, you have to put down a base of water um, what I usually do is put on the lightest colour, which is usually yellow, um, because you can actually work into the yellow. Um, but I am random with how I 
apply the other colours and it can be any colour from the spectrum and it's just splashing and just making marks it sort of takes you back to when you were younger and it's quite a bit of fun to do this sort of let rip on a, on a day that uh, you're not feeling quite up to it um, I use any colour as I said um, and then I'll incorporate because we're doing a scene where there's flowers we have to have green stalks and these are random as well because remember we're going to work into this afterwards once we've got it uploaded onto the Photoshop so what I would say at this point is just enjoy yourself getting the colours down it doesn't really matter how it lands because you see what I mean once we've put it onto the computer and we're able to man manipulate them just get a good random dollop of of colours uh, red tends to work really well once you've uploaded it it's always things like poppies and roses right, so I think we'll leave it there so we've got to make this dry first and then I can come back and obviously upload it that's what you'll be seeing me do next uploading it onto the Photoshop system and then we'll work into it to create the scene like we have in uh, the coming to England scene Right, we've uploaded, we've uh, completed our picture and I've uploaded it, just scanned it into the computer and uploaded it onto Photoshop. Now I'm going to clean it up before I can get into doing the detail. So this is just taking all the excess bits that I don't really need off the screen. And you'll notice that the picture is not as bright as it was. So we're just going to, I'm just going to bring the vibrance up to make it just that little bit more brighter than we had it. That was a bit too much. <laughs> Let's take it back just a tad. Because we're trying to make it look um, colourful, like it's a colourful day, but not, not too, too bright. Right, and that's about it. So what I usually do is I will add other things to it and just play around with it for a bit. So I've got some flowers here that I did previously and I'm going to incorporate those onto my background and there I can adjust them. So as I, as I said before, red flowers usually look really nice within this setting. Um, you can have just the heads of flowers because it's really up to you what you do and what you put in. You notice that I really have, I'll have more than one section so you can upload quite a few, just duplicate them if you want to and then just place them in just a nice um, situation within the picture. Now to go into it, working from the Floella um, Coming to England book, um, I added all sorts of things. You'll even find a bird in there. Right, so if you put uh, right, flowers, obviously need stalks. Um, I'm going to add a few now and just tag them on to various areas where I can update and make them more flowery. Obviously you work into this and it takes it takes time. Um, and I see here we've got a few that we could turn into something else. So I'll add a layer to that. And for the purposes of this, because it's it is long-winded and it takes it does take a bit of time, um, I'll put a bit of decoration on some of the flowers. Just picking out the odd ones and it doesn't have to be anything too intricate just something to accentuate where you think a flower might be and we've got some blue flowers here 
those could be bluebells they could be anything that you want them to be um, let's go with this one and as you notice I've done this type of work within um, the scene that I showed you earlier it's just to fill it out and to make it um, look more like a bed of flowers add another layer and I think we'll go into making some really bright red flowers again it doesn't have to be any particular shape just something that you you want to put in dot those, a few of those around what we're trying to do is just build up a texture or to make the image look as if it's a field of flowers which brings added interest within the book and that's what I you know keep doing the more you add the more you take away it just depends what you want to do um, I could add some flowers that aren't quite budding yet possibly fill those in if it works here we go um, a few more of those obviously what I usually do is just come back to these after I've had a look at it for for a time and if I need to add something else then I do so that's generally what, what I did for um, the scene within coming to England plus I added um, a few birds as focal interest and so that's the way I would go about building up a scene to put within the book This is a time-lapse video of a lizard character I created for a picture book called Coming to England, written by Dame Fluella Benjamin. It was done using an app called Procreate, which is a quick and simple drawing and sketching app.